Hello and welcome to Cycling Weekly's Tech of the Month and it's the May edition full on Giro d'Italia time. So I've brought this, All right. uh, uh, here we go. Uh, this is not a bin bag, but if it was, <laughs> it would be the world's most expensive bin bag. One you wouldn't want to throw away. Yeah, it's actually the new Gore shake dry stretch jacket, right? What they've done is they've taken the Gore shake dry, which we know and love. It's a product that I've banged amazing. on about many Absolutely times. Absolutely amazing. Editor's Choice yes, product. Yes, it was in Editor's Choice. It's, oh, we're all in agreement on this, I'm sure. It's, it's the best waterproof jacket you can get. I mean, it's incredibly thin, it's incredibly packable and light and versatile, but it has this permanent beading surface. It's breathable. It's just absolutely, it ticks every box you'd want in a waterproof jacket. And uh, I went to a launch for it the other day and uh, Fabian Cancellara was there, who's the, the Gore ambassador. Are your best buds now, aren't you? Me and Fabs. Fabio. Gave me his, gave me his card. Yeah. Gave you his car? Yeah. Well, no, his card. His card? Yeah, yeah. What, what is, is his, his card? personal phone number? Yeah. Hey, hey, Oliver. <laughs> so, <laughs> you've been in invited out to his Swiss chalet. <laughs> well, <laughs> for some one-on-one -on -one time. Watch, watch this space. <laughs> but like the, uh, <laughs> but the, um, the big difference here is these stretch panels now. Now this fabric, you can see here, it's pretty cool. The guys from Gore were telling me that this is actually military tech. There's always some sort of military it's tech. Classic, it's classic, military tech, it? Market, DARPA, marketing yeah. spiel. So what's so military about it? Did that invade Iraq in the first Gulf War, that jacket? <laughs> it, might, it might well have done, but this fabric is, is, has, it's able to treat it with a water repellent so if I, I mean, shot you in the top of your shoulders where that fabric I think is, you'd be yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, oh yeah, it's totally arm, bulletproof. Um, the armpit. <laughs> so the advantage of having the stretch panels in there is, and it all comes from this special new fabric and stuff, is that it improves the fit and it can make the jacket more aerodynamic than a normal waterproof jacket. And also something which Fabian kept doing was, um, <laughs> He kept, he seemed to be like, adamant to keep on taking it on and taking it off all the time whilst riding no handed all the time. And so it's easy to take on yeah. and off. And that's the big thing. So if you're someone who takes your jacket on and off while riding all the time, because the weather's changing all the time, like Fabian, then um, this is actually easier because having the stretch in there makes it far easier than a normal waterproof jacket where it can be a bit awkward because there's no... I was going to say, does that threat. stop, this stops that kind of, you know when a jacket you put it on and it kind of constricts across the shoulders a little bit? Yeah. That yeah. kind of stops that. Definitely. And there's also um, a bit more stretch on the cuff as well, which is good because that's a little gripe I did have with the other one was that sometimes when you were putting it on and you had a glove on, um, which you often would because it'd be cold when it's raining, it would be sometimes quite hard to get it over the glove. You'd have to take the glove off and put the glove back on. Whereas this now, because they've got the stretch there, it, it's uh, improved that quite but a bit. But the fit of the previous version wasn't bad at all, was it? No, the fit was really yeah. good. And that's the one thing I haven't actually managed to properly assess the fit yet. I was looking at what other, how it looked on other people because they're only available in very limited numbers at the moment. And Gore were only able to give me a medium, which is not my size. I'm a small, so right now I can't comment. But, you know, Fabian was wearing the correct size and Look pretty good on him, but then again. You want to talk about Fabian even, anymore? Even a bin bag would look good on Fabs. Ollie, out on your ride, how well was your breathing? Could you yeah. breathe out of your nose very well? How's your nose? How is your nose? Me? We're not actually poking fun at Oliver's nose. Oh, a little nice bit. Nose. <laughs> I mean, the nose job I did go well. Sense. But, well, you know, Rupert's broken his nose. Well, well I actually did have a nose job, which is hilarious. <laughs> but there you go. Well, you were looking horrendous. <laughs> But yeah, I have bought, I mean, I, actually I've bought another pair of 100% glasses. Which, How much are 100% paying you these days? Yeah, I, I want to make that clear. He's an ambassador, isn't he? I'm <laughs> not, I am not Peter Sagan. I'm, well, I'm, as old, I, may, I may look like him, I'm not him. I it was Wolverine. Um, I'm not on 100% payroll. Yeah. Uh, I did say last week, when, last week, last month, sorry, when I had the other pair of 100% glasses that we would have these soon. In the next, Wolverine film, if Hugh Jackman is wearing 100% glasses, I'm going to be very, very suspicious. Right. Me, Sags, Wolverine, we've got a lot going on, I think. The early days of Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Back to these. 
bad boys, if you guys can pay attention. Uh, if you read the website, you'll have seen us post about this quite a lot, because we saw Peter Sagan wearing them at the Tour Down Under. They are the 100% Speedcraft Air, which have the enormous claim of helping you breathe, which is like... More, more easily. Well, depends on how bad your nose is. <laughs> big but, box. Uh, it's a big, it's a nice box, isn't it? I'm in that. And this is also a nice box. And inside it, you get, get rid of that. You get so much stuff. Look. Oh, that's complicated. Get a load of that. It's already complicated. Because you do like basically have to do, basically have to do like minor surgery on yourself to get whoa, these whoa, things whoa, what's on. What's this thing? That is the implementation device. What have you done? I don't know. Oh, mate. I've put it in magnet side down and it's magnetized itself <laughs> to the bottom of the box. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so we won't be showing... So these are going to make me breathe better, yeah? <laughs> yeah well, right. not from there. I, I mean, they're basically <gasps> going in, you know. <gasps> no, we've not applied everything yet. <gasps> it's <not> working. <gasps> you, sound like, you sound like Chief Wiggum from The Simpsons. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well done. Ah, Chief so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a crayon suck up my nose. So we've got the box. I don't want to go near that anymore. It's too much. We've got an implementation device. Thanks for this, Oliver. Got the glasses. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. And we've got the magnets. So where do these go? Okay, so you need to take a moist... I have researched this this morning. So you, you need to take a moist what? You take a moist towelet here. You, this you, isn't real. You clean, this is a, this is a, you're you, making you this You clean up. the side of your nose. Every time you put them on? Like that, yeah. So can I, can I put one of these on? Yeah, should we try it? Right, we've got to let that dry. Oh, Meanwhile, my makeup's going to come off. I already spent ages doing my makeup. So... Oh! Like okay. that. Then hold on. So let's so remove yeah. the backing from the strip. You can remove. So that yeah, yeah. get rid of that. Uh, and then you want to stick that on your on your nose. In which way? <laughs> oh, you're ripping my nose off, mate. <laughs> okay. That, oh. oh my god! Can you? Okay. It's on. It's on. So get them on. I don't. Uh, okay. Uh, this we don't actually know what's going to happen at this moment. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so this is what's brilliant about these glasses, right? Is they have this little dial, which then allows you to decide how Whoa. open or closed you want your nostrils. So if I keep doing that, I'm just going to tear his nostrils from his oh face. Oh my god! And they, they, I mean, so going back to the product, they also come with a clear lens for when it's bad weather. But that lens looks ace on there, doesn't it? It's a really nice looking well, lens. Well, the, the lenses in the ones without the nose piece were really good. Like, yeah. it's just epic. Yeah, and they suit your that. head really well Thanks, as well. Mate. It's got a good big head. Um, and it's got quite a built up inside as well. So like, it's got this big rubber bung. Obviously it has to house this. Do you want me to save these? Shall I leave the these dilator. on? I think they're one you so No, they really, don't mate. come off. They're there. I mean, that's there that's forever now. So how much do these cost? So, I can only find it in US dollars at the moment, uh -huh. uh, and they're 325 US dollars. Um, so, don't know how much they're going to cost in pounds. I'll try and find that out and we'll post it. Still that. quite expensive though. How many yeah. towelets do you get? You get 10 towelets. 10 towelets. And you can buy those again. They cost $15 to refill. Right, so they really are special occasions. Yeah, you know, you, don't, you can't just be wearing these on your weekend rides, really, okay. can you? Or you could just leave it on. So, there you go. 100% Speedcraft Air. We've been waiting a long time for these, and I don't think they disappointed. I, I'm actually very interested, because you, you can feel more airflow through your nose, yeah. but um, mm. once you're sweating and your head's down... Mm. It remains to be seen what's going to happen, yeah. So, Simon. What Me? Have you it's going to... I mean, just don't bother going, mate. Say, it's this not has stolen the show. It's fancy, but it is tech-related, and it continues our theme a little bit. And I've got a gilet from... Metier? Is that how you pronounce it? You yeah. go with oh, that? Oh, that's what it says there. Metier. <laughs> and a uh, British company, British brand, uh, I think. Uh, a couple of guys um, typically want to improve safety and being seen. And this is a gilet for £180, which 
isn't that, that is a lot for a gilet it's not it's not crazy i mean if you start looking at some gilets from some brands they're pushing the uh, well above the it has to be mark. the best gilet in the world okay so all right it's not the best gilet i've ever tested however i would happily use this every single day throughout the year um it does get a bit hot it's a bit too heavy for ultra summer days like really like warm days um winter rides with like a medium sort of jacket underneath like you'd have to unzip this slightly just to get a bit of breathability in but ultimately it's a very very good gilet um so it's fairly breathable not the best it's very windproof um and it's got a dwr coating on it so it could sort of fend off a shower here and there so yes as i say three hours charge time fully charged and you get 72 hours burn time um which will completely cover any of your commuting needs if you were commuting with it um, and it will cover you on a week's worth of riding there's no way i do 72 hours i don't think anyone else anyone does 72 hours so two weeks of general riding bimbling about um, and the best thing about it is that you know we love gilets we always use gilets and a good gilet with pockets etc is great but the added safety of this just works really well it's machine washable um, so you can actually wash it. You take the battery out. Do you take um, the wire out? No, you leave it in, just zip it up. And they have uh, a little pouch that you have with your purchase. Um, I haven't got it here, but they say do tuck it in there just for extra safety, but you don't need that. Um, so a 30 degree wash, uh, it'll be absolutely fine. It's part of the, the Beacon range. Um, they have uh, two garments currently, and they're in the pipeline of some other stuff, some really exciting stuff um, as well. Hey, we all love pockets on a gilet. Uh, these don't have pockets. It has one zipped pocket at the back, um, which is waterproof uh, there, uh, but it has access to your jersey pockets for two slits, which is kind of next you know, the next best thing to what you want. So um, it is still a bit fiddly, but like they all are, they're not perfect, but that is fine. I'm happy cool. for that to happen. It has a little elastic elasticity elasticated um, hem um, at the bottom uh, fit is good i'm very happy with it no point i feel restricted they've done a lot of research in how to or where to place the lights especially around the shoulders because you know at certain angles if you sort of go in a weird angle you can actually get a bit of light come back at you and it sort of yeah. shines at you but they normal riding positions riding normally you don't get that so you get maximum you know be seen through the 160 lumen strips at the front the two of them uh, as 22 lumens from the back and obviously around the arch of your lower back sort of just above your bum a nice red alarm strip to go i'm here Is, here you are uh, these bits reflective i take it yep they're reflective because i did like the fact that they created a light up gilet that was pitch black <laughs> but, but uh, if this is actually quite a lot of re re like reflective yes. paneling isn't yeah. it so um but i mean you know a lot of people cycling clothing are either not reflective or they or it's black okay. even if it's colorful it's not exactly you're not exactly going to see it in the dark you know if, if it's dark it's dark and the fact it's got lights i can't argue with it really 180 yeah. quid nice. i'm really happy with it um, 160 lumens at the front, 22 at the rear, three settings with the constant setting. It was about 12 hours runtime with the constant. Um, and they say, you know, use it during the day, use it at night. And I think as an extra, you know, safety mechanism on your rides, whatever time of the day that is, I think that's, it's a really good, good thing to have. So, bike of the month. What we got? Bike of the month. And we've got a Cube Agree, a Cube C62 Agree SL. Uh, it's one of two of Cube's endurance bikes. So slightly higher front end, sort of longer top tube, shorter at the back with a longer wheelbase, um, mainly for comfortable riding, sort of slightly high up, easier on the back. Uh, and then predictable handling with a longer wheelbase, slacker head tube angles, etc. So I've not ridden this bike at all. It's, you've been, you've I've been, been riding, riding it. it, but like I've not, it looks pretty aero as well, like the drop seat stays, direct mount brakes, that kind of thing. So Cube say this is like race tuned, race inspired almost, uh, and they haven't gone too crazy with the extremes of the head tube. I think the head tube for my size is about one forty millimeters, so about 10 millimeters more than just that's that kind of endurance bike. bit coming through though isn't it yes really, so. yes but yes they do talk about the sort of 
small aero trinkets that they've got because you, you, you can still go fast and you can still be efficient even though you want to be comfortable. Um, so they're not slinging you right back so the wind's all catching your chest. Um, but yes, dropped seat tube, which we know kind of helps comfort as well as aerodynamics. Um, this isn't the disc version, obviously, but it has direct mount brakes, which are slightly more aerodynamic than the normal sort of singular bolt uh, calipers. Um, so we went down to Devon and I rode it there. I've been training it around local roads, Richmond Park and the Surrey Hills. And I can't fault it. I mean, you, you, I jump on other endurance bikes and I'm sort of like coming from the racing background, I kind of want bikes to be a bit edgy um, more, most of the time. And this brings that and it's probably the first time that an endurance bike has like claimed it's a bit racier and it's not quite your full endurance bike and it's actually lived up to it. Three thousand pounds, well, a pound under three thousand pound with DI two and Cube do their own narrow seat posts and they say that adds comfort. Um, fulcrum wheels as well. Yeah, fulcrum wheels, racing forty fours, which is slightly aero that you know, a bit more aero than a box section, but not as much as a deep carbon section. Um, but Cube sort of spec their own handlebar and stem, saddle and seat post, which are good components, um, but it, it enables them to bring the price down slightly. So can't argue with that. Can't argue with that at all. Good work, Cube. Um, I need to take it to Hillingdon tomorrow. <clears throat> well, was these on? So with that, and, and that. that. I mean, I fly, mate. Unstoppable. Maybe I'll actually get back to the front of the bunch. We'll I've not seen the front of the bunch for a very long time. <laughs> um, I don't know what I do when I get there. Um, maybe you can give some tips. I, I don't know. I mean, All right, thanks, guys. I think that does it for us for Tech of the Month and Bike of the Month. Uh, please do like and subscribe our Cycling Weekly channel. Uh, and if you've got any comments and suggestions of products you'd like to see in the future, do comment below. But until next time... We'll see you then. Pink little cuffs on. Loving it. But you've got a jacket you've for got us. pink cuffs as well. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, you fo <laughs> folded them over. Oh, yeah. This in my Is that cuffs? A two cuffed, these two cuffed jumpers? Double cuff, mate. You're just jealous. You Whoever needed one. a double cuff. <laughs>